Ahla wa sahla to learn Arabic with Manar. Today we will be talking about how to offer good wishes for marriages, newborn baby and other big events in our life. And we will go further to see how to wish other people to have these big events in their life and to enjoy it. Yalla, let's start. Our first phrase is Alf Mabruk. Alf Mabruk. We use this phrase to wish best wishes for people when they get married, when they get a newborn baby, when they have success in their life, or when they buy a big new things and you want them to have it with bliss and joy. Let's see each word what does it mean. Alf Mabruk. Alf it is a thousand. Mabruk it's coming from Baraka. Baraka it means bless. And when you are wishing someone Alf Mabruk, when they are having a big event in their life, so you are wishing them to have all the benefits and all the happiness coming with these events by wishing them a thousand blessings. So Alf Mabruk it is general. It doesn't require gender and number. That's why you could use it with feminine, masculine and plural, it is the same. Inshallah, alf mabrook ya am nasri. Inshallah, bil hana. Ana baddi shufik ya hazam. If someone is wishing you alf mabrook, how you could respond to this? The response will be Allah ibarik fiik to a man, Allah ibarik fiik to a woman, Allah ibarik fiikun to a group of people. Let's see each word what does it mean. Allah ibarik fik. May God bless you. Allah ibarik. Allah it is God. Ibarik. This is present simple tense. By adding the prefix ye, we are forming he masculine. And now we will have you. Masculine, feminine and plural. Fik. Fiki. Fikun. Fi in Arabic it is in, but here it gives the feeling of to, to you. By adding the suffix k, fi, we are forming masculine. By adding the suffix ki, we are forming feminine, fi, ki, and fi, kon. By adding the suffix kon, we are forming plural, fi, fi, ki, fi, kon. Allahi barik fiq. Allahi barik fiqi. Allahi barik fiqi. So, if someone is coming to you to wish you good wishes by saying Alf mabruk, you will reply Allahi barik fiq to a man. Allahi barik fiqi to a woman. Allahi barik fiqi. To a group of people. Now, someone is getting married or having a newborn baby or having success or, have, or buying a very big new thing and you have a good friend or a relative or anyone you want to wish him or her to be next and having this big event in their life. What you would say? You will say عَبَالَكْ to a man عَبَالَكْ to a woman عَبَالْكُنْ to a group of people. عَقْبَالَكْ عَقْبَالَكْ عَقْبَالْكُنْ Let's see what does it mean. عَقْبَالَكْ It comes from عَقَبَ عَقَبَ It means come next. And when you are wishing someone by saying عَقْبَالَكْ or عَقْبَالِكْ or عَقْبَالْكُنْ You wish them to come next in this big event. Let's see the grammar, gender and number in our phrase. عَقْبَالَكْ By adding the suffix أَكْ We are forming masculine you. عَقْبَالِكْ We are forming feminine you. عَقْبَالْكُنْ We are forming plural you. In our phrase today we have two letters. We have to pay attention to them. عَ عَ it, It's coming from the throat like stopping the air. It's so similar to a, but it is stopping the air in your throat. You, ha you don't have to pronounce it so strong because in Levantine dialect we don't pronounce it so hard. It's only like a a, and we have the letter qaf qa qa. It's coming from the top of your throat, 
and ق ق it's similar to the letter ك ك it's coming from the mouth but ق it's coming from a little bit back so ق and ك the pay attention to these two letters now what about marriages if a couple getting married and you want to congratulate them you could say يخليكم لبعض يخليكم لبعض may Allah keep you for each other may Allah keep you for each other let's see each word what does it mean يخليكم may he keep you here we have the present simple tense in Arabic by adding the prefix ye we are forming he masculine he keeps con by adding the prefix con here we adding the object you plural يخلي كون يخلي may he keep you يخلي كون لبعض for each other بعض it is each other by adding the prefix لا we are forming for لبعض for each other يخلي كون لبعض may Allah keep you for each other now what if someone has a newborn baby it depends if you are talking to the mother or to the father or both parents together and if they have a new girl or a new boy let's see each one if you are talking to the father and he has a new boy you will say yeah. if he has a new girl you will say yeah. If you are talking to the mother and she has a new boy, you will say يخليلك. Yeah. And if she has a new girl, you will say يخليلك. Yeah. If you are talking to both parents together and they have a boy, you will say يخليلكن. Yeah. If they have a new girl, you will say يخليلكن. Yeah. Our main phrase is The meaning is May God keep him or her for you safe and healthy Let's see each word what does it mean May God keep This is present tense in Arabic And by adding the prefix yeah, We are forming he masculine Now by changing the suffix at the end of this verb we are adding different objects like يخلي لك by adding لك we are forming you masculine يخلي لك by adding لك we are forming uh, you feminine يخلي لكن by adding كن we are forming you plural يخلي لك يخلي لك يخلي لكن the lamb here which is between the verb and the suffix it means for so يخلي لك it means may God keep for you may God keep for you now what about the baby so if it, he is a boy يا يخلي لكن يا يا all together it means him may God keep him for you if it's a girl you will say ha يخلي لكم يا ها the whole thing يا ها it means her may God keep her for you يخلي لكم يا يخلي لكم يا ها this is all our wishes for today. Which one do you like more and which one are you going to use? Tell me in a comment. And now let's go over our words for today. Alf mabruk, a thousand blessings. Allah ibarik fiq. May God bless you to a man. Allah ibarik fiq. May God bless you to a woman. Allah ibarik fikun. May God bless you to a group of people. Aqbalak, may you be next to a man. Aqbalak, may you be next to a woman. Ikhalikun labad, may God keep you for each other. 
يخليلك يا ما God keep him for you to a man يخليلك يا ها ما God keep her for you to a man يخليلك يا ما God keep him for you to a woman يخليلك يا ها ما God keep her for you to a woman يخليلكن يا ما God keep him for you to a group of people يخلي لكم ياها may God keep her for you to a group of people thank you for joining me today wish to see you next week for a new video if you are new here make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be notified when I have a new video if you like today's video, give me a thumb up, share it with your friends and people you know that they want to learn Arabic. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram so we keep in touch. See you next week. Yalla bye. Mastalama.